ones in. Okay. We're special. Yeah, it's in the 1M. I don't know why they put a T on it, but yeah. Well, it has a different head bolt size. No way. Really? Huh. Sean's got the big bitch bar out. Okay, torquing. Yes, exciting. Also dead battery, so come back when we're done. All right, so I'm charging the battery in like 20% increments, but we just did the head studs, and let me tell you, it was pretty gnarly. I mean, it's only like 100 and something foot pounds at the end, but it's like 30 newton meters, 90 degrees, then another 90 degrees, then 45 degrees. So we had the six foot bar out, and I literally thought I was gonna break them all, but we managed, so now it's whatever these little rocker boys get the party rocking so I'm just clean and drop these in each hole and assemble them luckily there's not a lot of moving parts what are you looking at you look very confused no I'm just you holding just, the bag open for you dog oh, yeah, yeah. unbelievable the dabs. Dab city. All right, camshaft time. This is where you shine, David, because you know how to time motors, because you have good old Vanos issues. But she's in there like swimwear. So time to drop some cams. outer bolts. Okay, so these big long ones go in the front first. Yeah, I want to um, tighten up the trays first. And, oh, and then trays the and then first? Yeah. Okay. We're getting there. Alright, it's a new day. Not sure where we left off last night. I think we basically had the long block assembled last night. I think I got it all on footage camera kept dying and I just can't find any batteries so it is what it is but I've spent this morning just making the engine look more like an engine so I think we're basically at a full long block now um, I guess it looks like an engine it's got a valve cover on it threw on the power steering I didn't throw on a power steering that's a water pump okay well you know it's just one of those days I'm not meant for four hours of sleep so yeah I mean got the water pump on got the alternator the block off plate you know, alternator, high power, high pressure fuel pump, and yeah, basically threw some sensors in. There's Sean. Sean's back to help. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, the engine looks like an engine. So I think now it's the exciting stuff. We'll just grab the turbo kit and slap the turbo kit on while we have it on the engine stand. Then we'll take it off the engine stand, basically drop it onto my subframe, which is just chilling over here waiting so we'll plop that back in and then we'll deck this whole thing back up into the car so just a big empty hole right now All right, so this is where the magic happens. Basically, 
The only thing that's left now is we'll slap the transmission on the back. And I cannot forget before I do that though, is to clean the oil galleys. I actually removed the freeze plugs and just drilled and tapped these with MPT plugs because it was easier for me at the time. So I'm gonna pop those two back in and yeah, see some of the orange or, or Loctite seeping out. So she might be a tad heavy, but it is touching the rear main, which I really like to see because that means it'll have a good seal on the rear main. And uh, yeah, toss the starter in. Everything for the turbo is done. It's a pretty tight package back here. Actually, I have the downpipe. I'll probably throw that on right after the transmission, but she's, uh, yeah, I probably should have spent five minutes trying to oven clean some of that junk off that just got on there from a one-time fire years and years ago. But, yeah, just make sure all the feed lines are tight, all the AN fittings, all this stuff is wrapped in really nice heat shielding, so that way it basically lives in hell and we want it to live more than a second. We got the new engine mount. I don't have the sleeve for it, which is why it's been melting. So we might slap some gold heat tape on there and just see if it lasts. I don't think I have any other thick, thick heat shielding. So, all right, let's, uh, ooh, all of our new adjustable control arms. So these have been holding up really well. We've been testing these all season. Kyle's doing alignment on the hatchback before we rode America, same thing. It's been using all of our control arms, front and rear. So, yeah, we're uh, we're super stoked to release these. Just making a few minor changes. Just getting her all dialed in, but so far so good. No complaints. All these HD rod ends are taking the abuse. And I have some sweet boots for all these to keep the dirt away because you don't know how many times we've come in with customers with adjustable arms or even our own adjustable arms and just like actually using your car for more than a showroom, these rod ends just get filled with gunk. So we got little rubber boots that you can put over it. It's very classy, keep all the junk out. So, all right, let's, let's make these two for life. And I say life, but realistically, I only mean, well, this one better be life. They've only been married, she's been through a lot of divorces. They fight, they break up, they get separated after a weekend. The engine's just got a temper. She likes to blow up. should only take five puffs. I think it's yeah, totally dark. Yeah, I, haven't, I personally haven't charged that battery in a while, so I just... Didn't you just buy a new one? I thought you were fucking with me, David, that like it had no No, no dog, the shit was sitting at 90 PSI. Well, that's terrible. I know, that's what I'm telling you. No, that's not what it fucking means. It means I'm fucked. It just kept climbing slowly. Also, like, gosh, these boxes are the fucking worst. I don't know how this is gonna... Because I can't jumper cable to this thing. Sure you can. Jumper cable to the jumper cable, dog. How does it touch the fucking... What do you mean? Clamp onto the clamps. And the terminal posts? Yeah. Full sin. Yeah. It's just, you're just putting them in series. Then just fucking yeah, crank it up. Why don't you use the extension cord that's literally right behind you? I mean, look at that one. No ways. He just wants to get it done. Well, no, I understand. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's so sketchy. I don't know why it does that. Even with it off a of battery. It was off, yeah. Well, no, it's physically on the battery, but uh, when it's off of a battery, it still does the same thing because there's no, like, on and off switch. It's not safe, guys. Should we engine start this thing? Yeah. No, let's figure out how you guys think that I'm going to fucking be able to clean it. 
You didn't you press go. a button to charge it, by the way. Just so you know. But it does only have 43%. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Plug that one in on the front side, if you can. The front of the battery, it has front posts. No, no, the face of it. Let's see if that will go. We but, should find some bolts that fucking screw into that, really. Yeah, because it doesn't have a bolt. Okay. Now we'll hit fucking charge. Three of the amps. Oh, where's the thing that was just on It's this? It's ripping. 40 amps. What thing on it? Wasn't there a... No, there hasn't been one on there. Alright. So much power, it fucking knocked this thing off now. You probably have to hold it. This thing? Yeah. Not great. 100. Yeah. It's pretty bad. I get more than that on the Harbor Freight. <laughs> I know, it still doesn't sound like the battery's doing anything, to be honest. I mean, the, the motor right, honestly it. doesn't sound that great either, but... The, the first... The, for, the first, first part was 90, yeah. so I, I think it's the battery. Yeah, let it charge, because the first time, it went to like 30, then 60, then 90. That one first popped 90. But this one, it went immediately to 90, hit. so just let... Oh, you're not going to let it charge? No, I'm going to hit start engine, and it's going to do a fucking like 100 amps. Jesus Christ. It doesn't do 100. It only goes to 40. Okay, 120. So the first one was like 100. Second Move to the next one. Uh, we'll just, let's do the Depression City over here. All right, hold on. I don't care about the numbers. Just you don't need to take pictures. It's for it's for me, not you. <laughs> Alright, what is this thing by the way? Is this a quick cutter? Yeah. Oh, sweet. That's nice. Yeah? Nailed it. What do you think? Fucking start a concert, dog. I think that's how everybody sings it. Even these guys, that's how they do it. They just make up things. They've been making up for years. Just decades of. You want to do it? Alright, ready? Yep. It was gonna pump more, but it's over it 120. Now. It sounds better the longer it is on the battery. Yeah. Time, okay. It? Next one. I mean, if I have 120 across the board, that just is what it the is. The first one wasn't 120, though. Well, you might have more. Oh, we'll go back to that one. <laughs> if I'm fucked, I'm fucked. There's nothing I can do now. I say you just cross your fingers and hope it runs. There's nothing else you can do, dog. I know. That's why I'm having you move to the next cylinder. I do. I'm going to need one. <laughs> okay, 120. Okay. The, the, the main difference between them is that one and four uh, took a little bit more cranks to stabilize, yeah. but two and three was like immediate. That's the only difference. I mean, there is literally no oil in the like. It's literally the only difference. Alright. That one's more than 120. It's like 135. It's consistency, baby. Oh, okay. All right. Everything's just trying to fucking run away. Everything's trying to leave the <laughs> building right now. Ready? Yep. All right. Go back to cylinder one. Okay. I mean, I can just I can lay under the car. You can just lower the lift until I die. I would but never get it, dog. I'd drive over you with the yeah. Jeep. Thank you. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Dang. Kendra God. nodded. Already, so. God damn it, Kendra. Thank you God, for not I sucking. I almost had it. You didn't almost. It, what is it? Just 120? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like 120. So you got 120, 120, 120, 135. No, 120, 135, 120. 
Fuck it, they're all the same. I just... I'll give you a half of high five because I don't trust one of them. What one that? I don't trust these two, dog. I mean, you want to go back to five and try it, hit it one last time? Might as well. Five, no, five is great. It's 135. But why didn't you like that one? It's too high. The rest of them. <laughs> you want to just drill a little hole in the piston? You have wire all the rest under it, you. <laughs> Be good, dog. Throw this With, bitch in. For every overachiever, there has to be two underachievers. What? That sounds familiar. These jumper cables are hot. Oh, I bet. You did crank up the fucking current. What do these do? Why don't you turn it off first? Because it doesn't really have a fucking off button. There's no off button? No, Mike bought this one in rebelling against oh. Sean. Are we celebrating? Yeah. We're celebrating. These let's are both go. for you. Oh, these are both for Yeah, brother. Oh, let's go! Wow, Mitch has two? Oh, yeah. Sure, like Stone Cold oh, Steve oh, Austin, like just. Oh, we well. don't. Cheers over. Oh. There you go. Uh, I gotta open there mine. Go. I dropped it. Down, I mean, I have compression, so we made it. Uh, it the so what? One's low? No, they're all no. 20. One is 130. I'm not doing it for the camera. I'm just looking like a total DJ and everything. I'm leading. What the fuck does that mean? There's no way I'm doing it for the camera. What? <laughs> She's trying to catch me double sip. You want me oh, to double sip? Yeah, double sip. Alright, I've heard bullet Make sure you Hang do on. bullshit. Hang on. I don't know how to fucking use this thing. It's a joystick. Like, you're not like a pilot, though. Just up just is up, down is down. Just move body and point it at him. <laughs> no, because it'll stabilize on the other thing, so you can just walk around in circles. And it'll always... Right. What's wrong with your motor? Nothing, it's fine. It just, the first, the battery was dead, so cylinder one only had 90 PSI, but now they all have 120, so we're calling it. All right, we'll fucking choose that. Are they like 55 really stock? Rip on it! <laughs> Can't chug that They're more like... Motor. Yeah, I would say they're between one... Some motors... I've had one motor. The one that lasted six days was 170 yes. across the board. Really? Uh, uh, so I've had high stock. Uh, so I've seen 180. And I came out of a drift car. 150 <laughs> and 120. Years, like, Most yeah. of the time, it's either all 150 or all 120. Dude, and I've seen people get one It also depends so if you have a belt hooked up or, or the like gauge, a, too. So does that mean there's two different pistons or strokes or some shit? No, I think it's yeah, literally the gauge. I, saw, I know that sounds stupid. No, it can be. The Harbor like Freight ones leave, read low for sure, but that one I thought is pretty good. I thought this one is supposed to be 180 or at least 150, like the higher. I definitely, I, I, I was expecting 150. I thought at least 120. Above I'm gonna blame gapping the rings huge, maybe. I don't There's know. still like some big nasty things on the silver walls that we couldn't get out with the ball hung. So yeah. it's not super surprising that there's a skew between them. Also, like there's no oil. Like the squirters probably aren't doing anything. So the walls are just like as dry as can be. So you know, if I put a little bit of oil down each of these holes, I bet we get to 180. Especially with the ring gap. Yeah, so I'm not worried. I'm just glad they're all at least the same. 